In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can simplify an expression that asks us to do several operations in one problem. If we do the operations in different orders, we'll get different answers. So we need to agree on an order that all mathematicians and all students and all colleges everywhere will follow the same process to simplify an expression. The order consists of four steps that we will do in order, and to set this up, I want to start at the bottom. The very bottom, most simple operation is addition, or subtraction, and we will always do addition and subtraction last, and if there is more than one addition or subtraction in the problem, we will simplify it from left to right. However, before we do any adding and subtracting, we're going to do the more powerful operation that represents repeated addition, or repeated subtraction. And that would be our multiplication and our division. And again, if there's more than one multiply or divide or both in the problem, we will simplify it from going left to right. This means sometimes we will divide first, and other times we will multiply first. And before any multiplication or division, we will do repeated multiplication, which we represent with exponents. Finally, above everything else, if we want to do something out of the normal order, we put it in parentheses. The quicker we can remember this order, parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide, add and subtract, the quicker we will be able to simplify expressions, as quite often as we study pre-algebra and even algebra, we'll come back to this set order. So one way people like to remember this order is they remember this mnemonic, please, excuse, my dear, aunt, Sally, where the first letter stands for parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide, and add and subtract to give us the order. Another way students often remember is they think about this funky word, PEMDAS, PEMDAS, which I often write vertically to remind me that multiplication and division can be switched, and addition and subtraction can be switched, just left to right. However you remember it matters not, what's important is that you remember this order. Let's try an example and see if we can remember the order that comes from PEMDAS. PEMDAS tells us to do the parentheses first. Inside the parentheses, order of operations asks us to start with the exponent. So we'll do the exponent first, and I'll copy the rest of the problem exactly like it is. 5 plus 3, parentheses 2 plus, 4 squared, is 16. Continuing to simplify inside those parentheses, we now have 5 plus 3, and then in parentheses, 16 plus 2 is 18. Next, we would look for exponents, but there are none, so then we'll move on to multiplication and division. Because the 3 is right next to 18, we assume that means multiplication, and we'll multiply 3 by 18. This gives us 5 plus, and 3 times 18 is 54. Finally, at the end, we'll do our addition and subtraction. 5 plus 54 is 59, and we have our solution. Notice we're careful to follow the order of operations, doing the parentheses first. There were no exponents, so next we multiplied, and finally, we added. In part 2 of this video, we'll take a look at a second example that's a little more involved, as we simplify using the order of operations.